We have a very interesting lesson today. And the focus of this lesson is the shameless hypocrisy of the humankind. Jesus healed a possessed man and he gave him the following commandment. Return to your home and declare how much God has done for you. In this incident, Jesus, one more time, in addition to all the times, every time he acted or he spoke or he did whatever, one more time, he proves that he is very powerful. He is all almighty. Even the physical nature recognizes his divinity and submit to his power. The evangelist too tells us before the healing of the demoniac, on their way in the boat, Jesus quietened the winds. He quietened the sea with a mere command. And the sea and nature submitted to him. When he stepped off the boat, the demoniac <coughs> bowed to him, he fell at his feet, and he said the following, what do you want? What do you want with me? Jesus, son of the most high God, I beg you, do not torture me. Even the demons recognize God and they submit to his divinity and his sovereignty. Jesus also today, he proves how much of a caring God he is. He initiated the healing of this possessed man out of compassion. And it's very interesting that the fellow men of this possessed man, the country of the Gadarenes, did not care about this healing. They did not appreciate it. It meant nothing to them. Why? Because their financial loss outweighed all the benefits, all the comfort, all the healing their fellow man, this possessed man, gained. So it's interesting, it's a thought provoking that the physical nature like the ocean and the winds submit and recognizes and appreciates the divinity of Jesus Christ. The legion of the demons recognized and submitted to the divinity of Jesus Christ. Yet the human nature the most superior part of the creation of God, the logical creation that has the most capacity of ability to think and to, and to invent, did not know or did not want to know Jesus, submit to his divinity or accept him. At the end of the event, they asked Jesus to leave and what did he do? He simply left. He did not argue with them. This incident here revealed the hypocrisy of people and societies and the human nature when, when they pretend or when we pretend to be caring. With a human nature that is mingled with sin, Caring for others 
seem to be okay as long as it does not come with any financial loss to us or it doesn't come with any burden or inconvenience to us. Guess what? That's not caring. If there is any financial liability to us, our society does not welcome Jesus in our life. This was the example of the Gadarenes. This is an example that is followed today, maybe more so than other times. And we are invited, we are invited to choose which stand we want. Are we going to take the same stand as the Gadarenes? And because it is inconvenient to us in our lives, physically, emotionally, or financially, because it is inconvenient, we would ask Jesus to step out of our lives? Or are we going to follow the example that Jesus gave by being truly compassionate and truly caring at whatever cost it is to our life and welcome Jesus as part of our life? Do we, do we have to wait until the physical pain and the mental pain is so severe that exceeds the pain of the financial losses to welcome Jesus into our life?